welcome you all to dieselship.com. This series of educational videos is presented to you by Sriram. And this video is especially produced by Dieselship Academy. So in this video we're going to see about dismantling procedure or opening up the plates of a freshwater generator manufactured by Sasakura. Uh, it's common and uh, the procedure is same for any type of manufacturer and uh, before doing any uh, maintenance uh, just read the manual for the exact opening procedure this will just give you an overview so uh, here's our fourth engineer who is uh, opening up the freshwater generator and before he opens he's measuring the distance on various studs as per the manufacturer's procedure and he writes it on the plates of the freshwater generator itself and uh, he notes them and then uh, while assembling he got to tighten up to the same measurements you can measure it with the, uh, the tape or a scale whatever you are comfortable with and this section is the evaporator section of a freshwater generator and uh, now you can see uh, all readings are marked 23.5, 19.5 these are the distance distances which he measured and now he's about to open it now all the protection covers which is blue in color are removed and here is the condenser section now the chain block is rigged up and he's using the pneumatic wrench uh, socket wrench to loosen up the studs the opening up of the nuts is to be followed as per the manufacturer procedure you can't just open it up exactly right opposite as you wish uh, since the compression on the plates will alter so you got to open the loosening sequence as well as tightening sequence should be as per the manufacturer's guideline and this plates especially are very large uh, in area so uh, we got to uh, follow the procedure and uh, you can see the junior engineer helping him and now as they slack the water starts to uh, pour down and uh, of course, you, before starting uh, opening up, you got to isolate the freshwater generator completely and uh, take out the risk assessment. And uh, I advise you guys to wear a gloves when you touch the plates, as this would scratch off uh, your hands, as these are made of uh, titanium um, or stainless steel sometimes. So, as he opens up, he removes the plates, and you can see these are the plates of the evaporator section so now the plates on one side is uh, clean and uh, yeah I'll switch on the light and you can see the gaskets on the other side and these gaskets protect uh, the fluids mixing with each other or leaking out of the freshwater generator and uh, these are the studs which hold them the plates are the number of plates you can count and you can mark it so that you don't uh, mix it up or put it in the opposite direction and here's the evaporator uh, sorry this is the condenser section which is right above the evaporator section and uh, we're not going to remove the condenser section in this video we'll see it in the future video but uh, this is just for your understanding and uh, now the end plate of the these plates are removed and the plates will be separately taken out for cleaning purpose and the most preferred chemical for cleaning the plates is the saf acid and uh, you can have many other things and this is the feed feed flow meter and uh, you got to adjust the feed as per the manufacturer's recommendation let's say in my last ship this was 7 meter cube per hour so the flow can be adjusted through the valve and uh, now they have taken off the end cover and these are the salts just note on how the salts are in the future video we will see what are hard and what are soft salts and how they form and what temperature so this is uh, now the plates are removed out and uh, taken up to the poop deck on the ship and uh, using the saf acid we clean it and after cleaning we inspect the gaskets on each and every plate and okay you uh, look out, look over here this is the inside view of the pipeline where you can see at the end you have a gate wall or a butterfly wall which is shut here is the view so here are the thermometer pockets 
with which you can easily understand how they are mounted. So you, if you want to replace a thermometer, you need not worry about the fluid flowing out. So that's it about it. And uh, in the future video, we'll see um, how exactly to carry out the maintenance and uh, the condenser cleaning and pressure testing of freshwater generators. So thank you all for watching this video. For more videos, log on to dieselship.com.